One of the most common calls that I receive, especially when you're dealing with technicians that you're overseeing, is when they're working on a condensing unit, sometimes they don't properly understand the importance of being able to use your gauges. So a lot of times I'll get a call, the technician will tell me, hey, I'm having a problem with this AC. And I'm like, well, what's the problem? What's going on? And they'll tell me the compressor's not running. And I'll say, okay, did you did you use your gauges? How do you know the compressor's not running? And they'll say, well, I don't hear it turning on, which is kind of a term used when you hear the compressor turn on. It gives almost like a mm, sound. But what happens is a lot of times if you don't put in your gauges, you won't know if you have refrigerant in the system. There's times where I've worked on a system, I've turned the system on, the compressor's running, there's just no refrigerant inside of the system. So I always recommend to the guys is, before you make that determination, put your gauges in. Well, how do I know? Because once you put your gauges in, you could see here the system is off. It's not running right now. But it's in the retarded position. So right now, I can see that I am getting pressure inside of my condensing unit on my high and my low side. So just make sure that you properly connect your gauges. You can see here, the red is my high, the blue is going to be my low side, the thicker side. And basically, once I plug it in, the gauges will tell me if I have any pressures inside of the system and right now I can see that I do have pressure so let's say I don't have any refrigerant in the system once I remove my gauges you could see here my compressor is showing that I have no pressure inside of the system so once I plug it in even though it's not running the red is my high side once I reconnect my gauges you can see the gauges picks up a reading. And what happens oftentimes when you have a refrigerant leak, your compressor is running, there's just no refrigerant and no pressures in the system. So that's something you have to distinguish and determine when you're properly using your gauges. Here, I'm gonna turn my thermostat to the on position, make sure the temperatures drop, make sure it's on auto. And now, once my condensing unit turns on, I should get a reading from my compressor and from my evaporative coil. Now here, you can see that the gauges are balancing out. My condensing unit is running. Obviously, the pressures are going to change based on the type of refrigerant, the temp uh, differentials, the ambient reading of the temperature outside. But I just want to show you. Once I pull the disconnect, my gauges will go in the retard position. So just always be sure that you're using your gauges when you're trying to diagnose your compressor. This is pretty much one of the most important tools that you're going to need when you're out in the field. So here, I put my disconnect back in. The compressor is on a, a delay, but you'll see once the compressor just does engage, right now only my fan motor is running, my compressor hasn't engaged yet. And once it turns on, you'll see, see it just turned on, you'll see that my gauges will respond. If this video was a help, if it was informational, please subscribe.